Vakhtang Gurgasali lies in the pantheon of Georgia's most influential leaders. Nearly everything about Gurgasali's life seems legendary, from his long reign of nearly 30 years to his epic victorious battles as a teenage king. Vakhtang Gurgasali was the son of a Georgian king and a Christianized Persian noblewoman. The sobriquet Gurgasali comes from the Farsi word Gurgasar, meaning wolf. When Gurgasali was only 16 years old, he had already became a famed leader after he attacked the Ascetians and Huns in the North Caucasus. He shared part of Georgia's winnings with the Persians and brought the Alans, Chechens, and Dagestanis into Georgia's influence. At the age of 19, Gurgasali married Balandukht, the daughter of King Hormizd III of Persia. After she died in childbirth to Gurgasali's only son, Dachi, he married Helena, a relative of Byzantine Emperor Zeno. By doing so, Gurgasali showed goodwill and homage to both the Persians and the Byzantines. In the 460s, Gurgasali managed to unite Egrisi with his kingdom of Kartli and Gacheti. This brought much of modern-day Georgia under his rule. Despite the fact that Gurgasali was proud of his Persian heritage, he still saw the Persians as his predominant threat, and so he built up Ujarma, which was a major fortress between Tbilisi and Gacheti, to be Georgia's first line of defense against the Persians. Ujarma would become not only a major fortification, but also became Georgia's most important Christian center after Mitzcheta, and even became the capital of the Kingdom of Kartli briefly. In an effort to help distance himself from Byzantium, and to give Georgia greater independence to maneuver itself between the rival powers of Persia and the Byzantine Empire, he asked Constantinople to give the Georgian church independence from Byzantine rule, whereby the Georgian king would appoint bishops rather than Constantinople. This would not only break Georgia from Byzantine influence, but would also bring the church under the influence of the Georgian state. Georgia's primary religious figure, Archbishop Mikhail, disagreed with Gurgasali about this decision, leading to a physical altercation between the two, resulting in Mikhail being thrown out of Georgia and being replaced by a more subordinate archbishop. To prevent church leaders from acting against the king, Gurgasali then moved the capital from its cheta, which was home to the most anti-monarchical bishops, to Tbilisi. In turn, Gurgasali built a new cathedral in Mitzcheta to help keep church leaders satisfied. In the 470s, Gurgasali expelled Zoroastrianism from Gacheti. Following years of conflicts and quarrels between Gurgasali and the Persians, Gurgasali fought the Persians past Urustavi and then personally killed the Shah's son. Despite the seemingly large victory for Gurgasali, he later died from his wounds while resting at his castle in Ujarma. Vakhtan Gurgasali did many important things for the development of Georgia. He truly united Georgia for one of the first times in its history. He set a precedent for the independence of the Georgian Orthodox Church from international influence. He prevented Georgia from turning into a church-led state. And he set the precedent for Georgia to become a neutral state between the rivals of the East and the West. Ultimately, however, this became his own downfall and perhaps may also be the Achilles heel of Georgia's fate as well. If you'd like to learn more about the places mentioned in this video, visit our website www.visiting-georgia.com. Thanks for watching.